My name is Peter Darch. I'm a professor for biochemistry and physiology. My company, Darch Scientific, is working since about 20 years in the interdisciplinary field of medicine, biochemistry, chemistry, biology and physiology. We are working with methods that do not involve an animal experiments. That means we are exclusively working with organ-specific cell cultures. During the last years we have developed various test systems which are scientifically accepted and can be used to shed light on several aspects of the complete organism. Since years we are also conducting tests on the effect of mobile phone irradiation on the cellular level and the possibility for the compensation by a device. Mobile phones are high-performance devices which use a lot of energy and produce a lot of heat. On the other hand, they also produce non-thermal uh, irradiation which is mainly responsible for the phenomenon of oxidative stress. Oxidative stress represents a situation in which an excess of free oxygen radical exists. The defense mechanism of our body are not able to inactivate the excess of the existing radicals. This overload of free radicals might produce a situation of discomfort but may also produce cellular damage which has been well documented scientifically. In 2020 we had the opportunity to examine a medic amber which is produced and distributed by Zoma Vedic Technologies from the Czech Republic. We wanted to know whether the medic amber is able to compensate unwanted mobile phone irradiation. According to the statements of Soma Vedic, the medic amber creates a special field with wave characteristics which is able to eliminate free radicals. Since I'm mainly working in the field of conventional medicine and science, I am basically a very skeptical person. On the other hand, I'm also open-minded and I'm also looking for things which one might expect no effect at first sight. At first, we conducted a preliminary test to see whether the medic amber is able to compensate the irradiation of an actively transmitting mobile phone. And indeed, it did. Therefore, we conducted further experiments over a period of several weeks. We conducted the tests with so-called functional eutrophils. These are cells in the bloodstream which belong to the innate immune system and also play a key role in the first defense against invading microbial pathogens. The cells are able to generate superoxide anion radicals in order to kill the invaded pathogens. Therefore, they are also called phagocytes. A current and commercially available mobile phone was used for this study. We did not make a distinction between thermal and non-thermal irradiation because Bose is reacting on the user when making a call. The experimental setup was done in such a way that the cell culture flasks were placed on the switched off display of the actively transmitting mobile phone on one side and on the other side on the back of this mobile phone. This represents the situation that the irradiation is directed towards the user and away from the user. 
The total exposure time with the actively transmitting mobile phone was 4 hours at 37 degrees Celsius by using an external mini incubator. Afterwards, the cells were incubated for another 20 hours because normally the effect on the cellular level does not occur directly after the exposure. Cells which were not treated by mobile phone irradiation served as corresponding controls. Thereafter, the metabolic activity of the cells and their generation of reactive oxygen radicals was measured by a colorimetric assay. In the samples, which were exposed to the mobile phone irradiation, but without any protection by the medic amber, the metabolic activity of the cells and the generation of oxygen radicals was reduced afterwards by about 50%. In contrast, the use of the medic amber during the exposure to the actively transmitting mobile phone resulted in a very strong and significant compensation of the unwanted effects. This means the cells had a largely enhanced basal metabolism and generation of oxygen radicals. Moreover, we also measured an improvement of the efficiency of the medic amber when it was present for a longer period of time in one room. According to our examinations and the obtained results, the use of the medic amber can be highly recommended to reduce unwanted mobile phone irradiation.